Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and today we're going to review Doctor Who, The Eighth Doctor, The Time War, Volume 3 from Big Finish, which includes State of Bliss, The Famish Lands, Fugitives in Time, and The War Valyard. So the first story in the box, of course, is State of Bliss, and I really kind of enjoyed how the story really expanded, you know, the character of Bliss. And we get to really kind of see a bunch of, you know, alternate kind of possibilities in their timeline, and it kind of helps develop her character. I really thought it was a very good character development story for her. And also I liked how we get to see a few different versions of Paul McGann kind of playing certain doctors. And I kind of really enjoyed that. I also kind of liked how we went back to the Theseus and, you know, how you became there. It really also plays on the idea is, is Bliss like a trap for the doctor? And I really like how they enjoy you know, explore. I really like this story just because they expanded a little bit more about Bliss. And, you know, I think in the last couple of box sets, you know, they've done a pretty good job with her as a companion, you know, but this story, I like how it's another level of Bliss. So, you know, each box set it kind of expands her character just a little bit further, and I'm really glad that this story did that. So the second story in the box set, which is, of course, The Famish Land, I really like this episode of this box set. It was definitely different. You know, it's like this different type of time war story, and it's like the Doctor and Bliss basically just trying to help people that are out there. And the kind of idea, you know, on this planet, they're kind of running out of food. And you know, it kind of looks what happens when a planet has to deal with, who are dealing with hunger kind of issues because of the greater time war that's out there. And, you know, you get to see how the Doctor just kind of now has to kind of, okay, this is what the war is doing, but how are you feeding people? What is your solution? And the solution is quite uh, different, and I really like this story. It was a really good story. Fusion in Time, I would say, is probably my, my least favorite story in this box set, because it's basically another kind where, you know, the Doctor is kind of reluctantly with Bliss joining Camasan on a mission. They extract a very kind of fugitive that's out there, and, you know, you get the Daleks in the background and all that. It's definitely not a bad story, but I was probably out of the entire, you know, out of listening to this entire box set, this is probably the one I just probably won't revisit too much. Uh, but it was still a very good concept. I really do like the character of Tamasan. I think she's a really good character and her interaction with the Doctor was quite good. And yeah, this was another decent story in this box set. Now the last story in this box set is probably the one that got me the most excited for this box set. Because it's the Valyard. And, you know, it's the Valyard. It's the War Valyard, as the Dow says. And I was like, okay. We got the Valyard now in the Time War. Well, how are they going to do this? I really enjoyed this story because it was the Valyard in a different way than we have seen. Uh, because this is not quite the same Valyard that we've met previously. And of course, I really liked how the Time Lords basically just are using him as the Doctor. Because in their eyes, well, if we can't get the Doctor to fight, well, maybe we can get the Valyard to fight and make him the Doctor and he can fight on the front lines for us. And I really like the character study that you have in the Valyard in this story. It's very different, and, you know, it's very kind of, he kind of is learning that everything around him is not quite what he thought it was. And I also really enjoyed when the Doctor learned that in the Valyard to fight your war, it's like, yes, Doctor, we are. <laughs> I love that reaction. It's like, well, basically, if we can't get the Doctor to join, well, we're going to find any way to get the Doctor to fight in the Time War, no matter what. My quick little review of the Eighth Doctor of the Time War, Volume 3. I thought it was a really decent box set. I really like the ideas they explored with, of course, the Famish Land and, of course, the War Valyard. I think those are the two highlights for me in this box set. But overall, it was a very decent box set. And if you guys have listened to this box set, tell me your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.